cool. I'm excited now. I'm like super stoked. Creepy. <laughs> for the kids. Wow. Look at these. I've been throwing them wrong the whole time. <laughs> what? They actually made them fly. I always throw it from a different spot on there, but they're throwing it from the front and it actually made it fly, which is like, ugh. <laughs> I the designed the airplane myself, but I don't even know how to throw it right. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Like this. No, nope, throw it from the front like you guys were doing. Yeah. Like this? <laughs> Are you doing your hair in there? Yes, and look he is. With his dingle hopper. <laughs> Are you trying to give yourself an apple in the mirror? That's so cute. I know, it's so, so cute. Is it delicious? Hey, everybody. Welcome to... That's so weird. I almost said pins and things. <laughs> but it never ends at the beach house, that's for sure. Check out this new CVX hat. Yeah, got some swag you last good. night. Thank you. you Thanks, baby. I'm driving. Okay. Oh, Sorry. Oh, Otherwise, I would oh, totally make out with you right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> true. Oh, uh, so both me and Michael have head colds today. Guess Great. what? We get to do today. We get to take a studio tour of a TV show, a new TV show coming out. It's a sci-fi series coming out next October in 2017 called Extinct on BYU TV. I'm really yeah. excited. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. So we get to go and have a special tour of that, which we've never done. The closest we've come to that was going to Universal Studios and taking their studio oh, tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a new sci-fi series is by Orson Scott Card. He's the same guy that did the whole Ender's Game series. The Ender's series. That's, if you guys ever that's saw Ender's so Game. cool. It's made, made by the same, same guy. That's so cool. That makes me very excited. So we get to go in there. This is like, this is so cool that we get to go in there and we can pretty much film whatever we want. So if we find it interesting, then you guys get to see it. <laughs> And the weather today is crazy, you guys. It's it like is so it's weird. like almost warm. Yeah, I I walked outside and I had this on and then I was like, I don't even need my jacket. That's so weird. Honestly, I don't know that I can remember a winter ever being like this where it hasn't been snowing. It's been raining like every day for like even, a week. Even in the middle of the night, it's not cold enough to snow. Yeah, really. last night it rained all night. Had it been snowing though, it would have been really treacherous because it was super windy, but just rainy. And this reminds me of Florida winter, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the Florida winters are always really rainy and Oregon winters no, are always... No, Florida winters aren't rainy. Oh, They're just oh. not cold. Oh, that's right. But Oregon, this is actually more like Oregon, yeah. where it's like raining instead of snowing I, and just kind of bad weather. Wet ice is like hitting our car right now. That's really loud. It's snaining. It's snow raining. Wow. I have like a few favorite memories. Wow, it's getting so loud. I have to yell. <laughs> when it was raining and sitting in a car specifically. Because we never had a car growing up. It's hail. Wow, is it? Yeah, you can see it on the street. I don't know oh, if you guys wow. can see it. Guys, I forgot to brush my teeth. <laughs> and then Michael said, wait, do we have any gum? And I guess we did have gum and I never buy gum. So I didn't know that we had gum. So now I'm chewing on gum. It just occurred to me that I don't think I've chewed gum in literally years. I don't remember the last time I bought it. I don't remember the last time I chewed it. It's like a foreign object. So you guys at the studio. Hey James, is that comfortable? Yes. Yes? <laughs> How did peanut butter get in my cup? Everybody do it. Everybody do it? Oh, everybody do it. It's snowing! Oh, it's, it is snowing. Doesn't that look almost like a hand? That tree? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I can't wait to go sledding on the hay. Woo! 
on a hill, go sledding. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun, yeah. This makes me feel like I'm on like an X Files set. X Files. This is cool. I'm excited now. I'm like super stoked. Creepy. You know what the most exciting thing is now? I can't wait for the series because when I watch this series, I'm gonna be like, oh, I was on set. I like, know, right? I saw those props in real life. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> Hanging downy thing, it just like foam things. Just kidding. Did that look good? Cool little alien spaceship panel thingy. Those cement steps over there are made of wood. Oh. Like they're plywood. They just look like whatever. cement. Yeah. Extinct episode seven. Dun dun dun. Episode seven, season one oh seven. Episode seven. Uh, that's, I think that's how they do it in showbiz. Uh, oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Um, I'm Abram, reborn into this world after we've been extinct, and I'm actually 67 years old. Wow. Yeah. You so look young. Reborn, like <laughs> the mind of a 67 year old in a 25 year old's body is the idea, which is fun to play with. Also, I would say like I'm like uh, kind of the priest. Uh, if there was that sort of thing, a prophet, the pro because I'm old. <laughs> I'm the old guy, so I'm the one who comes and offers wisdom and stuff like that. Meet everybody. I feel like I feel a lot of good days to meet you, Sarah. And Danielle. Danielle, Sarah. Allie. Allie. I'll repeat it now, but I'm gonna have it. Let's go down, Branson. Nice to meet you. I love your outfit. This Thank you so much. Very survivalist yeah, kind of future. It's good. <laughs> it's good, it's a lot of fun. I was super stoked uh, the first time I put it on, and now it's now it gets in the way more than that. But I do still feel cool. <laughs> so are you so one of the people with this thing back here? I am, I don't have it on today. Oh, oh, I wish, I wish that would've been cool. You, cause, cause it does, it goes on the net. What can I say? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, No, I play a character named, what, named uh, Duncan. I am controlled by one of the aliens, but I think I'm the only character really who kind of tries to fight it a little bit. Sweet. So I, it's fun because I get to kind of play in both sides a little bit, uh, just in the sense that I'm struggling against it. So cool. it's, it's fun, it's cool, yeah. But I don't get to hang out in all these awesome indoor sets because this is where the cool kids are. No. The Reborns. Uh -huh. The Reborns the reborn. and Skin Riders, yeah. And this is actually a spaceship, an old spaceship or yeah, alien so, spaceship? Or? Yes, exactly. So in, in the story, these guys that look like this are all kind of scavengers and, and we don't really have a whole lot of modern amenities. So we're mostly in tents outside of like this old down spaceship and you can see it's all just kind of in ruins but then there's like candles hanging and stuff. And so it's kind of like the, the futuristic equivalent of, of finding a cave system, I would say, and, okay. and repurposing it. Cool, so you yeah. guys live here. This is your home, this is where you live? Yeah, this is, this is the bunk, <laughs> bunking situation here. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Animal furs and candles. And she's one of the nice, pretty ones. Look at her in the light, up. too. She's chill. Like, an I angel. Know. I'm, I'm <laughs> Sorry, did you guys hear me? <laughs> this has been two episodes going. Oh, wow. I've been escaping for two episodes. Wow. All right. Wow. She intense. likes to take her time during <laughs> escapes. <laughs> How many episodes are going to be in the first season? Do you guys know? Ten, Ten episodes. Ten episodes. So you guys are getting close to the end? Maybe a little over halfway? We're, we're finishing on... up six right now. Yeah. So then we'll, we'll break for the holidays and come back uh, and shoot seven, eight, nine, ten. How long have you guys been through? When was when did you film episode one? Back in August. So this oh, really? has been going for a while. Too, We've taken I wasn't in like the pilot. three breaks, I feel like. Yeah. Well, one after the pilot, one for Chad's movie, one for Thanksgiving, now one for Christmas. Yeah. So yeah, we've definitely chopped it up. It hasn't been boom, boom, boom. Three breaks. Yeah. Three <laughs> breaks so far. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. You're right. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked for this now. Oh, I can't cool, wait till huh? next October already. I'm just like, where's the... <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Is there any <laughs> comedy? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> There's a little, oh my gosh. Yeah. Silas had a funny line yesterday. I thought, I was like, where did that come from? Yeah. When he came in, no. Yes, when he came in, the line about the car, I was yeah, just there's, like, there's definitely some funny, funny dialogue and stuff, I would say, but it's not really funny moments. I would say it's definitely. It's a drama. It's right. a true drama, for sure. I play Fina. Yeah, she's just this kick ass girl that's in the middle of all this stuff from Extinction. And she has some other things going on which I'm not allowed to reveal. She has a <laughs> story. But She's mainly just very um, like IT. She was she had a bit of a dark past, so she's like the bad 
bad girl of the show. Now she's trying to get better on learning how to live in this kind of second chance of her life. Cool. Very cool. I have to show your whole costume. Yes, your costume is that awesome. That is really cool. Yeah, well, at the moment, that is so this, awesome. yeah, this is a different, <laughs> this is a different look for me. <laughs> is it really hot in that? Like, are you sweating? Really I hot? am quite hot now because I have two pairs of thermals on. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were smart enough to think ahead. <laughs> One of us this morning when we were shivering outside, we were like, only two scenes, only two scenes, and then we're inside. <laughs> I make this look good. See? Does this look delicious? Yes. Let me have some. May I have a bite? Go for it. A broke it? Yeah. Try it. It's pretty good. Let me dip in it. What do you think? Let me dip in it. <laughs> <laughs> Celery and peanut butter is pretty good, huh? Just don't drip it on the couch. I got some. Good job. Yeah. She's getting ready to okay. get to her shop. Pull back about the close to get at it. No, wait, wait. You want to do that same shot? Yeah. Yeah, same shot. They're planning on going down. Wow, Michael. <laughs> it's like... Okay, you guys can go. He has to limbo through this doorway. I don't know what this room is going to be for, but this is going to be in the show somewhere. So when you guys watch the show, just know that I was in here one time. And that's cool. Just remember that. Right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually an alien. It's a, this is the alien. This is a. It's an alien egg. It is. And so. It's a alien. Thing. So is this where the actors actually sleep at night? <laughs> I go sleep in those. <laughs> go to bed. Break room. Go to your room. But These again, are sweet bunk cool Is that comfy, babe? But it wouldn't be my preferred kind of Not your preferred <laughs> bed, huh? <laughs> I think this would be my preferred bed for sure. Michael, nice to meet you. The lead, huh? I'm the guy called Ezra. Ezra, <laughs> Not lead. Good leader some days, bad leader other days. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm Chad, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice, to meet nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi. So you want to just give like tease, a little tease about who your character is and like what Oh, what are you doing? On the spot. Yeah. You go. For you two. Okay, I'll get a proper intro. Hey, I'm Chad Michael Collins. I play the role of Ezra in the new BYU TV series, Extinct. Ezra is the leader of the Reborn, so-called leader. I guess he's the guy with the only military experience, so by default he becomes a leader, even when he makes some bad decisions once in a while. <laughs> the show Extinct it takes place 400 years in the future, uh, after human beings are all wiped out. And a benevolent alien race comes back and decides to re reborn us. We're reborns. They decide to bring us back to the fold. They've captured our brain states that kind of help us recreate in our bodies to take out the alien threat that made us extinct in the first place. So this is our struggle to reconcile with the past, make a new life for ourselves, and also stave off the oncoming or the incoming alien threat that seems to pescally assault us everywhere we turn. So. Awesome. Cool! <laughs> 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 <Come on. laughs> but underneath the tarps they have um, the skin riders camp. And so the skin riders have kind of like this cool, kind of like grungy outfits and things like that. That's where they live. And so there's usually like a fire burning and like their tents are kind of made of the same kind of like leather and like animal skin and things like that. Sorry, I was just thinking about the scene from The Wizard of Oz. What, what should we knock and say? <laughs> Who goes there? This is the outer doors, and this is kind of our courtyard here. And this right here plays like it goes into a mountainside. So this is kind of the doors to the inner facility and the inner workings okay. of everything. Okay. So it's like that's a set, and this is a yeah. set. It's kind of a that whole bunch of sets. That magically leads to the stage over there. The one, the stage <laughs> that you guys were just in. Oh. Okay, so this this is called TV all the magic. sky is the skyline is the mountainside, really. Basically, but, yeah. But so when can't. we're inside that, all the stuff you saw on the cool. stage. Um, that 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 is the interior of this. It's cool. like tucked away. Oh, that's cool. Of cool. Do you just film it so that it cuts off where that cuts off, or do you have yeah, like green, green screen screen behind? Or we always have magic tricks like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's how I'll always remember you. <laughs> okay, this is some behind the scenes gold right here. These huge bolts on these doors are actually just googly eyes that have been painted to look like rust. <laughs> They're watching you. Gotta figure it out. A cheap way to make it, right? That's, that's a cheap way to do it. Last thing we want to say before we go home and see what the other little kids are up to. Let's go check out the beach house if you haven't already. For sure. Seriously. For sure. We are, we are. Don't just think about it. Just do Same it. Same with the Tannerites. Their channel is amazing. They're amazing people. They're amazing family. Listen to how just nice like they what are. I want to be. The coolest thing about them up. is they have a chest full of money that's gone because they spend it on other people. Aww. That's how good they are. <laughs> Thanks. But not only that, just look how awesome they are. Vlogception. So don't think right about here. it. Just go get it. Go make it happen. Do it. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> look at this. We're like. <laughs> You guys are like freezing to freeze. death. I keep looking at your noses and I'm like <laughs> Special guard desk. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Official. <laughs> now you can go play outside. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we didn't stitch it up yet. I was so joking about doing that. You know how terrible that would be to have a baby student per permanently stuck in there? How did those go there? Must be in the manufacturing next to the baby spoon factory. <laughs> Jessica's phone has been re resurrecting itself. Is that. Anyways. And dying. Living and dying. Living and dying. Tell us a story. My phone slowly. Flipped out of my hand and right into the toilet. And my first instinct is to go like this. And I pull it out, and it's like all nasty toilet water. You can imagine what else. Watch as my phone does come pops up with an icon that has this like little teardrop sort. That's what I think of water. It's like smoke. crying. It's like I will miss you. <laughs> and then I watched as the background of my phone turned to water and then I just held it over the toilet and where the jack to the the electrical to plug it in to charge it just drained out with water. Then you realized that what you had just done, right? And then I had to like, I was like, I need to wash my hands, it's nasty because I didn't even think about it. Like most people will look at it and just stare and be like, well, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, no! thing has been with me for two years. Two years? Two years. Well, it needed to have death by toilet so you can get a new one. I know, because <laughs> even Michael said that. He's like, yeah, that phone was so stupid. It used to glitch out all the time. And now I'm phoneless and sad. And you wanted to post it on Facebook, but you can't because your phone doesn't work. 